Have you ever wondered who the fastest people in the world are? As far back as our collective memory can reach, speed has been an admired and sought-after trait. It's a fascinating journey, tracing the footprints of the Swift back to the early days when speed records were first being set. Visualize the ancient Olympics, where the stadium race, known as the Stade, was a highlight. Athletes sprinted for approximately 600 feet, the length of the stadium, and the one who crossed the finish line first was hailed as the victor. These were the pioneers of speed, setting the pace for future generations. Consider the Roman courier, Tiberius Coruncanius, who according to Pliny the Elder, ran over 100 miles in a single day. Now that's a feat that would make even a seasoned marathon runner gulp. In the Americas, Native American tribes revered their fastest runners, often employing them as messengers or hunters. Foot races were an integral part of their culture, with runners covering vast distances across the continent's vast landscapes. Across the Atlantic and Africa, the Maasai warriors of Kenya and Tanzania incorporated running into their daily lives. For them, speed was not just a matter of competition, but survival. The fastest runners would often be tasked with protecting the tribe, chasing away predators or hunting for food. And let's not forget about the legendary Japanese runner, Ono Tadasuke, who in the 17th century was said to have covered a distance of approximately 50 miles in just one day, a staggering feat in an era long before the advent of modern athletic training. These historical figures and many more like them laid the groundwork for our modern understanding of speed. They pushed the boundaries of human potential, proving that our bodies are capable of incredible feats. Their stories serve as a testament to the enduring human spirit, the thirst for achievement, and the relentless pursuit of speed. Speed has always been a prized trait, with the fastest runners revered and celebrated. And as we move forward, we continue to push the boundaries, forever chasing the horizon in our pursuit of the ultimate speed. As we moved into the modern era, the pursuit of speed took on a whole new dimension. No longer was it just about raw strength or stamina. Now it was about technique, training, and mental fortitude. This shift marked the birth of modern athletics, a discipline that transformed the quest for speed into a science. The late 19th and early 20th centuries saw the establishment of standardized track events. These provided a platform for athletes to compete on a level playing field, with clear rules and precise measurements. Athletes were no longer just racing against each other, they were racing against time, pushing the limits of human capabilities. During this period, we saw the rise of key figures, who not only excelled in their sport but also left an indelible mark on athletics. One such figure was Jesse Owens, an American sprinter who shot to fame in the 1930s. Owens was not just a remarkable athlete, he was a symbol of hope and resilience in a time of racial prejudice and political unrest. His performance at the 1936 Berlin Olympics, where he won four gold medals, is etched in history. Owens defied the odds and the ideologies of the time, proving that speed knows no race or nationality. His legacy goes beyond his athletic prowess. He paved the way for generations of athletes, encouraging them to strive for excellence, irrespective of their backgrounds. The stage was set for a new generation of speedsters to make their mark. Names like Usain Bolt and Florence Griffith Joyner would soon join Owens in the pantheon of speed, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible, but that's a story for another time. For now, let's appreciate the groundwork laid by these pioneers, the men and women who transformed speed from a basic human capability into a mesmerizing spectacle. The stage was set for a new generation of speedsters to make their mark. The 10-second barrier in the 100-meter sprint was a line in the sand for many years. The barrier seemed unbreakable. It stood as a testament to the limits of human speed. Athletes from across the globe, all sharing the same dream, pushed themselves to their absolute limits, striving to cross this elusive finish line. One such athlete, a man by the name of Jim Hines, dared to take on this seemingly impossible challenge. Born in the heart of Arkansas, Hines was a natural-born sprinter. His blistering pace and relentless work ethic set him apart from his peers. But what made Hines truly exceptional was his unwavering belief that he could shatter the 10-second barrier. In the summer of 1968, Hines stepped onto the track at the Mexico City Olympics. The air was thick with anticipation. The world watched, holding its collective breath, as Hines prepared to make his run at history. And then, in a blur of speed and power he was off. He seemed to fly down the track, each stride a testament to his determination and grit. The crowd roared as he crossed the finish line and the stadium fell into stunned silence as the time flashed across the scoreboard. 
9.95 seconds. Heinz had done it. He had shattered the 10 second barrier. The significance of this achievement cannot be overstated. Heinz didn't just break a record, he redefined the limits of human speed. He showed the world that the 10 second barrier was not a brick wall, but a hurdle to be leaped over. He proved that with enough determination, hard work and belief, even the most daunting challenges could be overcome. Heinz's record-breaking run opened the floodgates for others to follow. His triumph serves as a powerful reminder that no barrier is too high, no challenge too great. The 10-second barrier may have once seemed insurmountable, but thanks to athletes like Jim Hines, it's now just another milestone in the history of human speed. In the present day, the title of fastest man alive is hotly contested. The world of sprinting, much like the world itself, is constantly evolving, unceasing in its quest for speed. Today, we find a new generation of speed kings, sprinters who exemplify the spirit of competition and constantly push the limits of human capability. One such speed king is Christian Coleman. With his explosive starts and relentless drive, Coleman is a force to be reckoned with on the track. In 2019, he became the world champion in the 100-meter sprint, clocking an astonishing time of 9.76 seconds. Then there's Trayvon Brommel, another speedster making his mark in the sprinting world. Bromel's blazing speed earned him the gold in the 100-meter race at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. His personal best? An impressive 9.77 seconds. And of course we must pay homage to the legend, Usain Bolt. Although retired, Bolt's incredible records still hold strong. His jaw-dropping times of 9.58 seconds in the 100-meter and 19.19 seconds in the 200-meter races set in 29 remain untouched. Bolt's larger-than-life personality and his unmatched speed have earned him a permanent place in the annals of sprinting history. While these athletes are fierce competitors on the track, off the field, they share a deep respect for each other. They push each other to greater heights, their rivalries fueling their desire to be faster, to be better. Each race brings with it the possibility of a new record, a new benchmark in the quest for speed. These athletes, these speed kings of today, are more than just sprinters. They are symbols of human potential, embodiments of our collective desire to push the boundaries, to break the limits, to reach new horizons. They remind us that speed is not just about crossing the finish line first. It's about the journey, the struggle, the relentless pursuit of greatness. These athletes push the boundaries of what humans can achieve in speed. So what does the future hold for the world's fastest people? As we look ahead, we can see the horizon of speed being pushed even further. The future of speed is a thrilling frontier where advancements in training, technology, and genetics will play a pivotal role. Training techniques continue to evolve, becoming more scientific and precise. High-tech equipment and state-of-the-art facilities allow athletes to push their bodies to the limit, while sophisticated analytics help them fine-tune their performance. Trainers and sports scientists work hand-in-hand -hand developing custom routines that target specific muscle groups and improve reaction times. The result? Athletes who are faster, stronger, and more agile than ever before. But it's not just about training. Technology is also revolutionizing the way we run. Lightweight, aerodynamic clothing reduces drag, while advanced footwear provides optimal grip and support. There's also the advent of wearable tech, which gives real-time feedback on an athlete's performance. This allows for immediate adjustments, shaving precious milliseconds off their time. And then there's genetics. While it's true that some people are naturally gifted with speed, research is uncovering the role our genes play in athletic performance. Scientists are studying the DNA of the world's fastest people, hoping to unlock the secrets of their speed. And while we're still a long way from genetically engineered super-athletes, the possibility isn't as far-fetched as it once seemed. So, when can we expect to see the 9-second barrier broken? It's hard to say. But, given the rate of progress, it might not be as far off as you think. The future of speed is a race against time and the clock is ticking. But no matter how fast we run, it's important to remember that speed is just one aspect of athleticism. It's the combination of speed, strength, agility, and endurance that makes a truly great athlete. And as we look to the future, it's this holistic view of athleticism that will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. So these were the fastest people in the world, past, present, and perhaps future. 